Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com. I made a follow-up post-fight video to Bradley versus Pacquiao, and many commentators in the comment section have asked me to name someone credible who believes that Timothy Bradley beat Manny Pacquiao. Let me just say, Brian Kenny, who used to be Max Kellerman's partner on ESPN, who used to be their boxing guy, he used to host ESPN's Friday Night Fights, actually had, according to Wikipedia, Timothy Bradley winning this fight eight rounds to four. Let me also point out that Thomas Hauser, longtime boxing fan, authored books on boxing, has watched boxing going back decades. He had Timothy Bradley winning the fight. Now, in my initial post-fight video, I pointed out that I had Bradley winning the first two rounds and rounds 9 through 12. Well, understand the judges had Timothy Bradley winning the seventh round of this fight, right? Understand all three judges had Timothy Bradley winning the seventh round of this fight. If you also give him the fifth round of this fight, which two of the three judges did, then Brian Kenny's 8-4 result isn't that far-fetched. Dwayne Ford is quoted as saying he thought Bradley gave Pacquiao a boxing lesson. He had Bradley winning by two rounds, right? But understand, there's a point in this fight where, even on his scorecard, Manny Pacquiao dominated after Timothy Bradley hurt his leg. Now, I'll agree, others have asked me for something I can't deliver. I'll be honest and upfront. Uh, they want to know a boxer who believes that Timothy Bradley won this fight. I'll concede. I have not come across one yet, right? I know Amir Khan has said that this decision was ridiculous. I did hear an interview with Andre Ward where he was asked about the fight and he thought that it was robbery, right? But let me just say, understand that Brian Kenny, who famously argued with Floyd Mayweather, Brian Kenny had Bradley winning the fight convincingly and you know, all I can say is, you know, some have pointed out that they thought Bradley won the first two rounds. The judges in the fight weren't even that generous, right? They gave Manny Pacquiao the first round. They gave Bradley the second round, right? So, you know, I understand that most, if you go to Wikipedia, you're going to see Several people, including people who have been in the game a long time, Ron Burgess, for example, mm -hmm. are saying that this decision was terrible. Barry Tompkins claims that it's the worst he's come across in 36 years. Let me just ask you, though, you know, how could that possibly be the case when even critics like Chris Mannix had the fight 115-113 for Manny Pacquiao, but close? Lem Satterfield, right? Very good writer whose work I certainly follow. He writes for Ring Magazine. He had the fight, 115-113. How could Kenny and Satterfield and Mannix, these are guys who have covered boxing for years, and Hauser all feel that the fight was close? Let me let you in, too, on a little secret. BoxRec.com not only gives the records of the fighters, 
but they also give the records of the judges, right? If you were to punch in each judge's name, right? C.J. Ross, Dwayne Ford, Jerry Roth, and put box rack next to their name on Google, it'll actually pull up the championship fights that each judge has been a part of. In fact, it'll pull up all of the recent fights that each judge has been a part of. And what you're going to find is that each of these three judges are distinguished judges. Again, don't confuse this panel with the panel for the Eris Landy Lara Paul Williams fight. Right? Let me go one step further. Understand in that fight, Paul Williams clearly had a volume advantage on Eris Landy Lara. The argument for Lara is simply that he was the more effective fighter. He landed the cleaner counters. Well, how could YouTube Nation, my group here in our corner of YouTube, how could YouTube Nation look at the CompuBox numbers in Paul Williams versus Lara and reach the conclusion that Lara was jobbed because the numbers don't tell the whole story, right? As the argument was, it's not the volume of punches landed. It's the quality of the punches landed. How could YouTube Nation look at that fight and then look at this fight and make the argument that because Manny Pacquiao landed more punches over 12 rounds, right, as opposed to in each round, right, strategically, because Manny Pacquiao landed more punches, he somehow deserves the decision. That's not the way boxing operates. It didn't operate, well, it shouldn't have operated that way in the Paul Williams, Eris Landy, Lara fight because there's more to scoring a fight than volume. Let me also say, too, that I would challenge the volume because I saw the fight and I did not think as I saw the fight that Manny Pacquiao was the more effective aggressor, right? So unless someone can come up with some theory that somehow, you know, these three judges conspire together and somehow convince Brian Kenny and Thomas Hauser to conspire with them and somehow convinced even some of the people who voted for Manny Pacquiao in this fight, but who had the score close, like Ring Magazine's Lem Satterfield, right? Uh, Sports Illustrated, Chris Maddox. Unless someone can convince me that all of these guys decided, uh, and C.J. Ross, female, decided that they were going to pretend that a landslide fight was actually a close fight, and they were going to somehow have the scoring look like Manny lost while giving Manny the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth rounds, then I'll listen. But all I'm saying is the fight I saw had Timothy Bradley sweeping the latter part of the fight. And all I can say is it really did come down to the 11th and 12th rounds for me. Right? Understand my own scorecard was razor close. It was 6, 5, and 1. I didn't even give Timothy Bradley the 7th round, which all three judges, including the one who voted for Pacquiao, did. Right? For me, it came down to the last two rounds. And in my opinion, Manny Pacquiao wasn't even in the area code in either round. So... Understand there are some people who believe, Brian Kenny, that Timothy Bradley won the fight. And before you throw stones at Kenny, understand, I have no conspiracy with Brian Kenny. I'm finding out today that he had it 8-4. And yet, right after the fight, the next day, I had a video saying I thought Bradley won the first two rounds. This is before I looked at the judges' scorecards. And that I had Bradley winning the last four rounds, right? If you add in the seventh and fifth, which the judges had him winning, you actually get to 8-4. I don't believe the fight was that wide, but all I'm saying is, 
I believe everyone here is acting in good faith. Everyone is trying to be credible. This was a close fight. If you believe that it was a gap of 10 rounds, like apparently this person out here with the car, if you believe like Harold Letterman did, that this fight was a 10 round gap or something like that, then you and I simply saw a different fight. I mean, understand, even the judge who picked Pacquiao had him losing the last three rounds. I don't know how you could make the case that Manny Pacquiao won the last three rounds, and you'd have to if you're going to claim that this fight was an 11-1 gap or something like that. I just, I just don't find that believable. I'll continue looking to see if I can find a boxer bold enough to say, hey, I believe Manny Pacquiao lost this fight. Right now I concede I have not found that boxer, but I've certainly found credible longtime writers who have that belief. Thanks for watching.